Hey there guys, have a good problem today. Uh, we're going to try and prove the angle bisector theorem, but to do that, uh, we need a little bit of information first. Um, you see that I've actually put some tick marks here with my compass, and this is actually the construction of finding the angle bisector of angle B. Um, we're going to learn eventually that the angle bisector is a line containing all the points that are equidistant from the sides. And with my compass, I found this intersection that says, well, if I connect B through that uh, intersection there, all these points are equidistant to side A, B, and B, C. Now, to prove the angle bisector theorem, we need to put that this intersection we're going to call D. And I'm going to get rid of all this other unneeded markings here. Make sure I get all this the markings and not my actual letters. All right, so here's the picture that we saw in class. That we said this ratio of AD divided by uh, AB kind of on this half of the triangle equals DC divided by CB. What you're going to need, or extra information for the proof, is this little line here. What I'm going to do is extend my compass all the way out to CD. So notice that it's pretty far for this compass, but it should be all right here. Try and get as close as I can. And what I'm going to do is make a, a circle from there. Now, if I make a circle from there and draw that, actually, what happens is then you can see it misses the line, but then eventually it hits again. So just by drawing this circle, what I'm going to do is connect C to this point, what I'm going to call E. So as you can see, it hits right about there. I'm going to connect that over to C. Now from here, this should be enough information to actually prove this relationship. Now why it's you know hard to do with that by yourself is I've introduced this point E but I've done it with a compass, which brings some, some interesting topics here. Now think about what a compass does. For example, my hints to prove this are, you know, CD, that length CD, is equal or congruent to CE. So I might write that on here just so you can see it along with my talking here, that CD is congruent to CE. From there, what you may want to think about is, well, what type of triangle is CDE? So that's a big hint that if I know this is congruent to this, what type of triangle that is. Now, right off the bat, obviously the angle bisector theorem gives you that this angle is bisected, so you do have some angles. And we have a whole bunch of triangles here. Okay. Just like our goal is in class, redraw the triangles of angles that you know are congruent. See if we can find some similarities. Once we find similarities, set up the ratio. So, once you understand what type of triangle this is, I think if you start marking up this picture, uh, write that as a statement reason proof as best you can, and that'll be all you need to do for the angle bisector theorem.